Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Now, if you love cute character stamps and the thought of actually colouring them in can maybe put you off, then I have got some top tips and techniques for you for adding colour to these really cool characters. These are from the Adventures in Ink cute Christmas range, but you can use these techniques with any other stamps that you've got at home. We're going to make three cards really, really quickly with limited colouring, but they're still going to look gorgeous. So stay tuned for that. Now, if you love this sort of video, we'd love it if you could like, subscribe and share with your crafty friends. Now let's get straight into the tutorial. Now my first tip is going to be think about the card base that you're going to be using. So with this one I'm going to be stamping a polar bear stamp. This is from the Dare to Bear range, the really cute bears. Now polar bears tend to be white so I'm going to be using a white card base. This just means that I have got limited colouring on the bear to do because it's already there for me. Now if you do this technique um, think about maybe masking off the bear as well which I've already done. So I'm just going to stamp them there onto white cardstock looking really cute but it kind of needs to be anchored down. So I've re-stamped him again onto some white cardstock and cut him out. This is what we call a mask in stamping. We can then reuse this over and over again. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just pop this masked bear over my stamped bear. Make sure all your black ink is dry, of course. And I'm going to bring in a couple of my blending inks uh, in nice pale colours. So I've just got some tumbled glass here and scattered straw. And I'm just going to hold my mask over. If you've got a repositionable glue or something like that, you can use that instead. But I'm quite happy to just hold him still while I add a touch of colour around him. So this is going to be a bit of light blue underneath. In addition to that, I always like to add a few little ink splats too. So once that's dry, I just take my mask off and you can see we've got a really cool bear. It doesn't look like you've just opted not to colour him in, um, but it looks really fun. So all I need to worry about now is colouring in his scarf for a pop of colour. I'm going with a bright red that will contrast against that background that we've created. You could even leave the scarf with some bits of white in if you wished to. Uh, I'm going with red, like I say, and a nice dark blue that's going to coordinate. So there we go. So there's a really quick card. Now I will add sentiments and finishing touches to all the cards that I'm making and show you them all at the end. So stay tuned for those. So my next technique is simply by hardly colouring at all and that's going to be paper piecing. Now this is really easy when you've got a stamped image, you just need to multiply stamp it. So I'm going to use this really cute mouse stamp. This one comes from the um, House Mouse collection from Adventures in Ink and I'm just going to ink this up in black stamp it onto my white cardstock. Now the reason I've used, used white cardstock is I actually took a look at the image first of all and I worked out which is going to be the hardest part to colour in or to cut out, so the most detailed part. And on this image it's actually the Ho 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 banner that the mouse is holding there. Let's just pop a little bit on his ear there. So what I've decided to do is rather than sit and colour in all of the grey and the pink, I've actually already stamped those onto a piece of grey cardstock and a piece of pink cardstock. And I've fussy cut those out. Now I'd much rather fussy cut than I would take the time to sit and colour in and get things wrong. So simply stamping onto some plain cardstock, not textured, that does affect the stamping. And all I'm going to do now is take my, um, my tweezers and some ink and I'm just going to layer over the colour, leaving that ho 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 banner which would be really awkward to either colour in or to fussy cut out, leaving that as the white from the card background. So again, just like the polar bear, we're kind of considering what the card base is, what colour that is and which part of the image that could be. Now all the supplies I'm using are from Craftstash, that's www.craftstash.co.uk or craftstash.us. You'll find everything there and Craftstash have their best price guarantee. So you'll be assured that you're getting the best possible price for your items. Not only that, we have the option of next day delivery. We also have the Craftstash VIP membership. So if you find yourself absolutely loving shopping at Craftstash for 
all your crafting products, you can join our VIP membership for only $9.99 for the entire year. That's $14.99 if you're in the US. Now this is going to give you 10% off of every order. You're also going to get priority dispatch. So when you order your items, they will be dispatched from our warehouse as soon as possible, usually same day. And you'll earn double points on all of your purchases too. So you can find out more about the Craftstash VIP membership at www.craftstash.co.uk forward slash VIP. Now when I've paper pieced a stamped image like this, really, really quick and simple, I didn't go with the really fiddly bits, so things like the frills around the socks, I left them with the white cardstock, the white fits perfectly. I've got a little bit of his arm here, the other side of the string that I didn't cut out, uh, but I'm going to come in with a shadow here, and this is just a very light grey, it's an alcohol pen, and I'm just going to go around the areas of this image where I think there would be shadow, so certainly uh, underneath his tummy there, underneath the bunting, the base of his tail, uh, under his nose as well, uh, from his neck, just up here. And alcohol pens do dry a little bit lighter. Uh, the inside of the ear would have a little bit of shading as well. I'm then also going to add a tiny bit of a shadow just underneath him here. Again, a very pale gray. And there we have it, a really cute, quick, coloured in image from our stamp set with minimal colouring. Now for my third technique, I'm going to be using these really cute pick up a penguin set. Um, I'm going to use three of these images that usually the thought of colouring in three images would be really daunting for me. Um, and I probably would only do it if I'm feeling like I need something therapeutic to do. Um, what I'm going to do here is work with monochrome, purposely create a monochrome a stamped image and then just pick out a few accent colors. So I'm going to start with creating a little bit of texture in the background with a pale gray blending ink and some water. Not a lot, let's say pale gray is going to actually blend in really lightly and it's only going to add the tiniest bit of texture to the background. I'm doing this by um, spritzing a little bit of water onto a piece of acetate and just dripping it into the cardstock there. So you can keep working at this until you're happy with the result, but I quite like the result to be as random as possible. Now, in addition to this coloring technique, for this card, I'm going to be using a masking technique simply by stamping one of the images onto copy paper, cutting it out very roughly. Really, it's just the sides on this that I'm worried about, not the antlers or the feet. And then I'm going to use this to mask off my stamped image as I stamp the characters beside it, so this set is the Pick Up A Penguin set from Adventures in Ink. Um, it's really good fun, lots of penguins. We've got penguins with fairy lights wrapped around them, holding gifts, wearing sweaters, um, even an ice skating penguin. They all have uh, fabulous sentiments with them as well. So just stamping my first image, then I'm going to bring my mask over the top. You can use a repositionable glue here if you wish, just to ensure that that stays in place. I'm going to pick two more characters to stamp either side. The two that I've chosen have uh, clothing on, so they have a, one has a scarf, one has a hat. These are going to need to be coloured in, so um, this is where I'm going to add my colour. Just carefully positioning those. Like I say, with the mask in place, and then I'm going to stamp them over the top. When you remove your mask, you'll see that you've got all three sat together with no overlapping. Now for this one, I'm going to be using alcohol pens. I've chosen two contrasting colours, so I've got a lovely teal blue and a ruby red. Now these are alcohol pens from Spectrum Noir, but you can use any brand. You could even use pencils if you wish. So I'm just going to pick out a couple of elements from each of the penguins to colour in. Everything else is going to be left white with the black outline. Now 
Now, of course, penguins are quite easy because they're just black and white, but there's an example of how you can just pick out a few choice colors and highlight some of the accessories that the animals have uh, without having to go in and actually color the characters themselves. So I think the red and the teal go really nicely together. Like I say, these ones are really easy to color in just the black outline, but there's another option for you full of different characters if you want to use it. So let's take a look at all three of these finished cards now. So here's our three finished cards. I mean, how quick were they to put together? I really love the paper pieced one. Um, if you like videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can check out lots more tips, techniques and tutorials over on the Craft Stash YouTube channel, Facebook page and Instagram as well.